Bonnie, we know that they've been struggling for years, especially after the pandemic. What's going on? Well, you mentioned the stock post market trading down. It was up, down 33 percent at one point. Shares were already trading at less than 21 cents per share. So it's really basically in the toilet in terms of the share price. But we're back here again. As Sherry said, we were here in 2020 after the board pushed out founder Adam Newman and it had to undergo a major restructuring. Well, that restructuring has just been complete. It did go public via SPAC in October of 2020. Sandeep Mathrani took over and he did try to right the ship and that restructuring that has just been completed in the last few months did include striking a deal with some of the biggest creditors and cutting its debt load by around one and a half billion dollars extending other maturities. Now trace data showed that bonds at the moment trade at deeply deeply distressed levels so a 7.85 percent unsecured note due 2025 last changed hands for 33 and a half cents on the dollar so that'll give you an idea of what investors think about we work of course especially post covid and when return to office is very much in question and very difficult for companies anyway not only that but sandeep mathrani after completing the restructuring left and the CFO left as well. It still hasn't found a successor. It's looking for a permanent CEO, it says. And the statement that was issued in the session said that it would be trying to work on renegotiating leases over the next 12 months. It's a question whether it will even survive the next 12 months. We were just talking about SoftBank and Vision Fund kind of getting back uh, on its feet. How does the bankruptcy filing for WeWork potentially play out here? Well, it's really interesting. We know there was almost a pet investment of Masa Son, right? Remember when we finally saw him come out of the AGM back in June and he was asked about WeWork and he actually physically put his hand to his heart and said, ouch, and said that other executives had told him that it wasn't a great investment, but he went ahead with it anyway. He just loved it as soon as he met Adam Newman. It's the biggest investor, the biggest shareholder, $12 billion invested into WeWork. Not only that, but it took a haircut when everybody else did in the restructuring, and it's loaned millions and millions of dollars to WeWork. So SoftBank's executives are definitely scratching their heads tonight. The New York Times did report a couple of months ago, around the time that the restructuring was taking place, that the then CEO Mathrani was getting a little bit frustrated. He couldn't get Masa Son's attention and he was annoyed at how long it was taking for SoftBank to allow the restructuring to happen. But all that's gone away now that uh, the CEO has also gone away.